Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Kia Niro, and we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the two panels on the front grille. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the color of the front grille. If you like the product, link for the product will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. Okay, so before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So you could wash the vehicle beforehand. That way it removes all the contaminants that the panel may have. Another option would be getting a spray bottle, adding water and baby shampoo onto the spray bottle, mixing it, and that will have the solution that you could use in order to just clean the panel. But just make sure when you're using the solution, after you finish cleaning it, make sure everything is completely dry because if there's still a little bit of water on the panel and it gets behind the adhesive of the film, the film is not going to tack down. Even if you apply heat, it's still gonna lift over time. So just make sure everything is completely dry. Okay, so we're gonna start off by installing the piece that goes covering this panel here. So with this one, you can start from either side. Just make sure if you start from one end, make sure you follow along the design and cover the other side of the edge here. So with this one, start from here, make sure you're covering everything and then just follow the design of the panel. And if you still need to lift the film and readjust it, you can. Just lift it carefully. You don't want to accidentally tear the film and then just lay it back down and just continue on with installation. So once you place the film down, grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film. Make sure you remove any air that's behind the film. And just focus on the flat surface first. And then afterwards, we will work on the bottom half. So it's just tacking down and securing this whole top surface. And now just make sure you secure the middle section here. So you can use your finger to remove any air that's trapped behind this middle section here. And then right from the middle, just start tacking the whole film down. So it covers the piece underneath here. And then once you get to this curved area here, we're going to apply a little bit of heat just to help avoid creasing the film around here because it, is, it does have a small curve. So a little bit of heat and then tagging it down will help prevent creasing it on this curve here. Okay, so grab your heat gun and start applying heat and then tag it down. Let it cool off and then just slowly help it tag down. And it should feel flush. And you may have excess material underneath here. That excess material will trim it off afterwards, but just make sure this feels completely smooth. And then the same steps that we did for this side, you would just rinse and repeat for the other end. And then just make sure once you're done, trim off all that excess material. Okay, so once you finish tagging down everything, now you will just finish off the installation by trimming off the excess material that you have either here or underneath the panel here. So with the top section here, there is just a small gap in between this panel and this portion of the grill here. So just find that small gap. You could use your finger to create a small outline to try to see where that gap is at. So once you finish creating the outline and you have an idea of where, insert the blade and trim off the excess material carefully Put the blade against the panel in the small gap and slowly trim off the excess material. If you need a stop, remove the blade and just make sure you're cutting everything perfect. You can. So for example here, as you can see, I am lifting it and it's trimming perfectly fine right in the center here. So yeah, just take your time when you're doing this process. To restart the process, just insert the blade right in the middle and just take your time when trimming off the excess material. And same with the bottom, just find that small gap in between the panel underneath and where the grill starts to form on this side. And then once you found the small gap, you can start trimming the excess material. And 
now that we finished trimming off all the excess material, the last thing to do is just applying heat. That way we help tack down the film that's still lifting that we peeled off. And then once you're done adding heat, we can move on with the next installation. So grab your heat gun and just start tacking down the film by applying heat and use your squeegee to help tuck in around the edges in between and in the middle section here. Okay, and now we can move on with this piece up here. Okay, so now we're moving on to this lower section of the grill. So with this one, all you need to do is just align it sort of in the middle of the curved area here. So right in the middle. So align it there. And then once you tack it down, just align the film as you go. And just make sure you're doing a full coverage for the bottom section. So if you have a good amount of material here, that's perfectly fine. We gave you just enough material to have full coverage and you would just trim off any extra material that you don't need. So just lift the film if you need to readjust it and then just tack it back down. So it should be like this. And then now just grab your squeegee, start tacking down the whole film. If you need to lift the film to help you tack down this piece here, you can. Just take your time, lift it, and then tack it back down so it could do full coverage on the bottom half. So squeegee, 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 squeegee. And make sure we just secure this top half. We need to make sure everything's tacked down before we install the top piece that goes on the top layer here. It's because once it overlaps, if we don't tack this down completely, the film is going to lift. It's just gonna lift the film more time and you might have to redo it again or the film might get damaged. So yeah, just make sure everything is secured here. And now all we need to do now is trim off the excess material. So the same process that we did with the bottom piece here, just find the small gap right here in between. Make an outline with your finger. Insert the blade. Okay, now that we finished trimming off the extra material, we're just going to heat up the area. That way we tack down the film that's lifting from where we trimmed off. And now we move on to the top piece here. Okay, so to start the installation with this one, go about it with the same steps how we did it with this section here. Just find that middle section where the curve and the flat area is about to start, right in the middle. And then just give yourself a little bit of material to cover the top and then just follow the alignment of the panel. And if you need to lift and adjust it, you can always do so. Just make sure you take your time when you're doing this step. Once the film is in place, use your squeegee and tack it down. With this one, you could tuck the film inside to do coverage on the gap here. Any excess material you could trim off. If you need to lift and readjust, you can. So just working your way around the installation. And then here, just help it tack down with your finger and remove any air that's in the middle here and then tack it down. And then start from the middle and just tack down the rest of the film. And this one, that's pretty much it. The next thing is just trimming off any extra material that you may have on this section here. If you do have extra material, same thing, find the gap. So make an outline to see where that gap is at. And that's where you trim off the extra material. And now just apply heat and then we're done with this section. And then we will move on to the side panels. So now we're moving on to this lower section here. With this one, you want to start by aligning it on this edge first. So align it there. You could give yourself a little bit of material to work with. If you pass the gap right here, that's perfectly fine. But if you line it just exact, that's fine too. Just make sure if you do have a little bit of extra material, you would just trim it off. And then we just give you an extra coverage that way it reaches all the way here. And in case it's misaligned or anything, this extra material will just cover the rest of it here. So just use your finger, guide it, and tack it down. And once you place it with your squeegee, start tacking the whole film down and try to go at an angle. That way you don't accidentally crease it and it should feel flat, just like that. So squeegee, angle, squeegee, angle. And this will just get trimmed off, so that's perfectly fine. But if you can tuck in, that's even better. So there's different options to go in about this section here. Okay, so the rest is just excess material. That will trim off. So grab your blade, and slowly, little by little, trim off the excess material. And now we're going to apply heat. And then once we're done with applying heat and securing this bottom half, we work on the top piece here. So grab your heat gun and apply heat. So 
so now we continue on with this piece so with this one you could align it right on the edge here just so it matches this curve here so if you do just give yourself a little bit of material to work with and it should look like this and then just follow along the design of the film and then tack it down so it should be like this and then grab your squeegee same process we did on the bottom squeegee it like if you're going at an angle that way you don't accidentally crease the film so you see it's perfectly fine it did not get creased and you would just tack everything down and then here help it tack down from the middle start here go to one edge and then start middle again and to finish it off here this is just to avoid any creasing on the film so we want to avoid that as much as possible and now we will just trim off the excess material that we have here and if you did give yourself excess material here trim it off as well to find the gap and then trim it off And that's it. And the same steps that we did for this section here, you would just rinse and repeat for the other end. And then once you're done, you move on with this last piece here, which is basically the same thing. Whatever we do here, rinse and repeat to the other side that you didn't work. So now we're moving on to this last piece here. So with this one, you wanna start off by aligning it on this edge first. So you can give yourself a little bit of more extra material to work with. And once you have it on the edge here, just make sure, hover over, and see if you're giving yourself enough material to cover the top and if you are just go ahead and continue with the installation start by tacking down the middle section but make sure everything is aligned so like that tack down this middle piece once we secured the middle grab your squeegee and tack it down and with this one you sort of want to go at an angle as well to avoid any creasing so it should feel flat with no creases and you just do the same here start in the middle and just squeegee at an angle and it should cover everything and it should feel flush and that's pretty much it and now we just trim off the extra material and once we're done trimming off add a little bit of heat seal it and then rinse and repeat the same steps to the other side and then after you're done with the whole installation we would come back to pulse heat the whole area Okay, so once you finish with the whole installation, the last thing to do is post heating the whole entire film. So to post heat, all you're gonna need is your heat gun and just start heating all around the film that we installed. So the top, underneath, and the lower middle section here. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete for the 2022 Kia Nero. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.